glad to see you. So Rashika is a is a young space system engineer. She was she graduated last year, and she's now working on open source projects, um, which is Docs. And she's keen on space mechanics, mission analysis, and she's working together with Thibaut Delrieu on growing this software suit, which is actually filling a gap on uh, mission profiles and mission analysis, if I'm correct. So Ashika, the the screen is yours. <laughs> and uh, and, and you. go ahead, yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. So as uh, they already introduced me, I am Rashika, and uh, I have Thibaut along with me. We are from CESRES, which is a space pole of the PSL University, hosted at the Paris Observatory. Today, we are going to talk about our in-house software, Docs, which is uh, being developed to design space mission profiles. Now, new space is go growing every day, and uh, there are CubeSat projects that ranging from low Earth orbits to interplanetary missions these days and uh, the high costs are incurred behind these projects. So to minimize the risks, we need some mission profile tools to do the preliminary analysis. Now, uh, there are some tools that already exist, but uh, not all of them can do the complete mission profile, or uh, some are very costly. So we are developing docs mainly to overcome this gap. Docs does the complete mission profile and uh, it helps structure your CubeSat project so that you can focus on the scientific coverage. So what is Docs? Uh, Docs stands for Design and Operation Cross-Checking Services. It's an open source software which targets uh, scientific nanosatellite mission profiles. It's completely free and it's available on the public geek lab. You can find the link here. Uh, it's fully developed and uh, validated in Python. For now, uh, it's only supported with Ubuntu and Windows operating system, but we will be expanding to Mac OS in the future. Docs has a modular architecture, as you can see here. It has seven different modules, uh, which are added as plugins, but they can also be used as standalones. So each of this module has its own configuration file, which the user can set up. Uh, to set up the simulation and then the simulation can be run uh, either in command line or via the graphical user interface. An additional advantage of Docs is that it's compatible with VTS, which is a, a software developed by the Fent Space Agency um, uh, to animate and visualize satellites in 3D environment. Here is an example of VTS, how it looks. So moving on to the different modules. The first part of Docs is uh, trajectory generation. So we have two different modules for that. Conix is one of them. It's basically a Keplerian engine, and it links to Kness Stella in uh, the Earth vicinity. The propagator is, however, uh, uh, it covers a broad aspect, and it is, uh, it is capable of doing deep space trajectories for cruise rendezvous or proximity operations. The purpose of propagator is to uh, produce an expected trajectory from a set of initial conditions uh, and and in the, uh, with the perturbations that are given in the space environment. For now, the propagator uh, can uh, the user can enter the both gravitational and non-gravitational perturbations. And for proximity operations, since uh, the complex shape of bodies is a significant factor in trajectory. So the user can also add their spherical harmonics model or any other custom complex model. For non-gravitational uh, non models, uh, we have continuous propulsion and the solar radiation pressure for now, but we will be uh, adding atmospheric drag in the future. For numerical integration, uh, we use uh, Ranjikuta uh, of order four. Uh, or Rangikuta Felberg method. The advantage of the Rangikuta Felberg is that uh, it has an adaptive time step, but uh, this also makes it computationally expensive. So we are looking uh, for new methods that are not that expensive and uh, uh, and also are uh, accuracy driven with an adaptive time step. The propagator allows you to propagate either forward or backwards in time. The validation of this module has been done extensively, uh, taking planets and uh, asteroids as uh, test cases 
uh, it means that we uh, propagate a planet like body in a similar space environment and then we compare the generated trajectory with the actual ephemerides there are st still some issues uh, if uh, uh, very high precision and accuracy are required for a mission but overall it it works very good talking about the latest uh, developments in the propagator the continuous propulsion feature was recently added now it uh, helps the user to add the uh, trajectory correction maneuvers an initial validation ha uh, has been done and here you can see a homan transfer as done by the continuous propulsion an advanced uh, validation is ongoing where we compare it with a uh, trajectory of an actual machine so here you can see a graphical user interface of the of the propagator we have some predefined gravitational perturbations but apart from them the user can also add their own custom bodies this uh, interface has been recently improved and is now user friendly for the future apart from the changes i uh, mentioned earlier we are also thinking of adding a time step manager uh, since all the models in propagator uh do not require the same time step so moving on to the next uh, module uh intervisibilities it computes the intervisibility with the sun means the eclipses and uh, the ground station passes for a for a specific trajectory the output is an event file which uh, you can see here so basically it tells you the time at which you are entering uh, an eclipse Uh, ECL in means that you are entering. ECL egg means that you are exiting. Similarly, for the uh, ground station, come in means that you are entering the ground station, and come egg means you are exiting the visibility. So next is the energy pass simulator. It uh, takes into account the configuration of solar arrays, uh, cells and battery, uh, mode strategies, pointing strategy, and the intervisibilities, and then it produces a a uh, par budget for the complete mission for now uh, there is no graphical user interface for uh, eps but uh, it will be released in the future updates uh, so the models i talked about till now were operational are operational and uh, but the other modules ha have not been developed yet uh, but uh, the purpose of data link is to uh, compute the data volume on board a uh, quaternions and adcs will be um, producing the quaternions uh, and orientations for the satellite so now where is docs used uh, so cesres provides ndsc support to uh, cubesat teams to uh, design a mission profile based on the scientific requirements and uh, to give uh, to have a complete analysis in terms of par budget the data volume budget for the mission so docs is used in these con contexts by internal as well as external teams um, body is an internal project uh, which uses docs propagator to compute uh, trajectories for flyby around asteroids circus and kester they use uh, docs eps and intervisibilities here is an example uh, architecture of uh, for caster that i'm working on um so the the caster team gives us some science requirements then i develop a mission profile uh, i in terms of a point mode strategy a pointing strategy and then uh, computing the data volume and the par budget so here we box for intervisibilities and eps the output is then generated in uh, vts here is an example of the outputs so uh, for example uh, i can uh, you can see flags here which is red which mean it's a flag for energy so it means that uh, there is not enough power on board for the mission so uh, we add such flags so that you can visualize uh, the the state of your mission at uh, that point a similar architecture is uh, adopted by tudsat in germany and cynex in taiwan so now i will request thibo to uh, move on to the uh, the current development plan of the of docs
Thibaut, we can't hear you very well uh, at all. I hope I'm the only one. I don't know if you got me. Can somebody uh, in the chat say if you can hear Thibaut? No sound. No sound. Two, one, two. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's, it's kind of working now. Yeah. Bill? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, okay, nice. Um, so yeah, uh, also, uh, also Docs uh, was doing the job. Uh, it was quite slow. Uh, so one of, the, one of the main goal was to make it faster. Uh, in order to do that, we have implemented some new features. First of all, we, we wrote some parts of the code uh, because our structure was in the system. So not, so not uh, sorry, uh, Tibor, we can't hear you very well. The sound is not too good. Yeah, there is like a false contact or something. It's like you're on the on the yeah. ISS at the moment. Uh, I don't know how to, how to, uh, oh, maybe an abandoned station, but it's a conf confinement effect. Yeah. Uh, this, is, this is too noisy. Sorry. Ashika, maybe you can take over while uh, Tibo is. Uh, I, I can't hear. Uh, Maybe I can turn off my camera. Maybe it will be better. Better, but uh, I think it's really your connection, your connector, which is like causing problem. Every time you're moving the the device, it's uh, it's making a noise. So. Okay, so I will go to not no. move it. Don't move now. Okay, perfect. Uh, okay, don't move. <laughs> so, um, second, uh, secondly, um, we introduced parallelization into docs. Which allows for tasks to to um, to, um, to, uh, to be treated uh, at the same time. And my phone is gone. Phone. Um, and last thing, we are also developing a remote service that serves clients to run docs, docs to our server at Paris Observatory. Uh, there are two main benefits. First, first, since the power of the power uh, PC turns faster. And second, and second if portable at installing the installing the server in any installation. At all we, uh, uh, sorry, at Tibo, all we're, too much we're kind of repeating. Yeah, there's a repeating loop now. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah. I think I will continue. I think I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go on. So currently okay. we are working, uh, we are trying to make docs faster. Uh, so we have adopted, uh, since uh, uh, many uh, users have worked on this, so it's very slow. Uh, so we are uh, trying to make it faster by using techniques like parallelization. Uh, and ve uh, vectorizing, basically, uh, there are some unnecessary for loops uh, and uh, else statements that we are trying, uh, we are removing from docs uh, so that it's faster. As a result, uh, Thibault uh, observed uh, um, a 10 times faster speed in intervisibility, for example. And uh, then we also changed our configuration files earlier. It was uh, very specific, uh, we could not uh, change the location of things, but now we have uh, adopted a YML approach and uh, these, the, uh, it is very user friendly. Also, uh, in the future, we are uh, trying to, we will try to make docs installation very easier. We, we are thinking to do something like uh, as, uh, uh, as we install a Python library, simply pip install something like that so we are try uh, we want to move it uh, to that and uh, since uh, a docs installation can be heavy on uh, some machines especially on windows uh, so we we are working on a remote service we have a cestrus server uh, which uh, uh, which can compute heavy computations the idea will be that the user will just drop a configuration file and the server will compute so in this scenario, the, there will be no installation require, required on the user side. So these are the uh, recent developments. And uh, so you can also contribute in docs. Uh, you can, as users, you can report bugs or boring uses, or you can request some new features. And if you're, in, uh, if you're a scientist or engineer, be free to challenge our performances or add some new models. Uh, and IT, IT enthusiasts can also help us make the user GUI friendly. Okay, so uh, uh, 
that's it uh, so please feel free to contribute to docs uh, thank you everyone for your attention and uh, you can join us uh, on these links great thank you ashika this is amazing nice i think you already had a question in uh, in um in matrix on the rooms channel actually uh one who is asking uh, where is uh, conic adcs and quaternions um that's that's very uh advanced questions i think uh if yeah great projects uh congratulations also damian is saying that um we're happy to see that you you're getting more users uh and uh how is the onboarding of users actually how do you manage that do they do they yeah. usually install by themselves and you you don't know what they are doing or they reach out and no we are uh, constantly in touch with our users we uh, help them install and if they are facing any problems so we know uh, generally what they are doing with docs yeah very nice nice um, okay about the about the question uh, conix adc adcs and quaternions are not uh, uh, operational they have not been developed yet and uh, conix is not operational uh, we use it sometimes internally but propagator has a wider use so it has not been released on public GitLab. only propagator is available all right mm -hmm. any other questions or comments from anyone I see one question. Yeah, yeah one. Sorry, if, uh, if it can be my turn. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, great project. Uh, one question about NBAC. So I saw you you're integrating model based system engineering. So it yeah. means that you are integrated within Docs. You are uh, integrating an uh, well, let's say a, a framework to use NBAC within Docs. That's what no, you're it, doing. Uh, it it's like we have an NBAC framework. And we integrate docs in that, uh, not the vice versa. So uh, the uh, the MBAC architecture I showed here, uh, this is the MBAC architecture we use generally for projects. And uh, we just use docs in some parts of this MBAC. Uh, for example, for this project, we are using it for to compute the intervisibilities with the sun and the ground stations and uh, for computing the power budget for body we are using uh, just the propagator to compute the uh, trajectories so it's different for uh, each project and it's very specific and have you developed any link to capella or, uh, or you're not using um, no uh, we have not developed any link to capella yet but uh, uh, we are uh, um, uh, looking for it uh, right now, uh, but uh, something is not ready till now. Maybe you can uh, remind what Capella is quickly. Uh, Capella is uh, um, it's basically a, a tool that helps to develop MBSE architecture. All right. Uh, so, but uh, we have yeah, not to it. understand. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Well, thanks a lot. You can reach out to Ashika. She is here. Um, and thanks a lot, Hashika. Thanks a lot, Thibaut. I'm very sorry about the, the microphone issue. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, confinement life somehow. Wonderful projects. I'm uh, I'm really enjoying seeing that moving on. You get more users. That's really cool. Yeah. And uh, you know, uh, the team is growing. Well, well done, also uh, Boris uh, on on.